With the win, California men's basketball team is still in the hunt for playoffs. However, they may need the help of tiebreakers to reach the postseason. Our own Alex Kunkel crutched the numbers for us and is at the sports desk to tell us the results. Thanks, Allison. Well, with California's victory over the Rock Wednesday evening, the Vulcans remained in the hunt for one of two remaining berths in the PSAC tournament. However, with Gannon defeating Mercyhurst on the same night, 71-59, it left a precarious situation in the West, which could leave three teams, perhaps, with 7-7 seven seven overall records. In the PSAC, there are five steps to breaking a tie at the end of the season. The first is head-to-head -head record between each team. If that can't decide anything, the tiebreaker will then fall to the team's records against other teams above them in the division. If that does not break the tie to third, is the team's record against Division II opponents who have at least a 500 record. And the fourth is team's records against opponents below 500. And if none of those will solve the problem, a coin is tossed to break the tie. Now let's take a look at what would happen if California were to beat the Lakers and if Gal Gannon defeats Lock Haven on Saturday. Gannon would clinch a spot with an 8-6 record, and Cal and Mercier's would both be 7-7. Seven and seven. However, the Vulcans would earn the fourth seed as it would come down to the fourth tiebreaker. California has 12 wins against Division II opponents with a below 500 record, while Mercyhurst has just seven. However, if California defeats Mercyhurst but Gannon loses to Lockhaven, it would create even more chaos in the West. In this scenario, all three teams would be 7-7, seven seven. California would not only make the playoffs, but they would earn the third seed. As California holds the tiebreaker over Gannon as well, the Vulcans have seven wins against above 500 teams, while Gannon has just six. The Vulcans would then play Clarion on Tuesday instead of IUP. If the Vulcans, however, lose on Saturday, they would be eliminated no matter what. The Vulcans take on the Lakers on Saturday at 3 p.m., while the Golden Knights take on Lock Haven at 5.30. Stay tuned right here to CU TV for the latest updates on the Vulcans' playoff scenarios. From the CUTV Sports Desk, I'm Alex Kunkel. Back to you, Allison.